All right, we've got the 8100 put back together. We have the CD-ROM drive, floppy drive, and we've put in our hard drive that we put the G3 Max Power software in. We have the G3 card. We have the HP video card at the back, and then we have the Multiscan 17. We also have a radius accelerated video card, and we have the built-in video on the back with uh, this adapter, but we're just gonna use the HPV video output right now. There's an issue with the power supply where it always turns on when you plug it in, but hey, I don't care. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, that's going. Hard drive spinning up. It's very loud and noisy, but that's okay. We have a happy back. They're running 8.1 on here. I suppose we could try installing OS 9 on this too, because it's got a G3, as long as there's enough RAM. So we'd have to make sure that it's got probably 64 megs of RAM minimum. You can see there we've got the 293 megahertz, newer tech extension. So it sees the accelerator, which is fantastic. We'll change the clock later, but just double checking the, the gauges here. So the clockometer, the newer tech software says 293.33 megahertz. That's great. So this is a flagship 8100 110. It was going to be thrown in the garbage, and I said no. Um, so yeah, we've resurrected an 8100 110 flagship, and we've also Verified the newer tech G3 300 card is in fact working, which is super cool. Anyway, that wraps up our adventures for today, so we will chat with folks later. Before we go, flying toaster test. They're very liquid and smooth and awesome. Alright, we'll see you next time.